What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be embroidering on this varsity jacket right here. This is a high quality varsity jacket. This has got leather sleeves and it's got the wool on the inside. Um, looks kinda small. This is actually a size, I don't have the size in it. But yeah, we're gonna embroider on this on the back and on the front left chest, 100% polyester for the inside and wool for this side. And this is definitely leather right here. So I'm gonna be using my Mighty Hoop, my 13 by 16 Mighty Hoop, inch Mighty Hoop. And I'm definitely going to use some stabilizer, cutaway stabilizer on this. So I'm just gonna get this thing ready right here. I like to come around once I get my hoop on my um, Mighty Hoop system right here. I go ahead and I uh, bring my stabilizer up, clip it in. Then I take my scissors at the bottom part and I go ahead and I uh, cut this part right here. Straight across. All right. Then I go ahead and clip my bottom part in. Now it's time to lay my jacket down. Lay my jacket down on the, cause I'm doing embroidering a big design on the back. It's gonna take about an hour for this design to go. So I lay this across my hoop master station right like there, like that. Make sure this is in the center. All right. I like this hoop master station because it it's really easy to line things up in the center. And this is full embroidery, no applique or nothing. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hoop it just like that. Now, guys, lately in the studio, I've been having a little slight problem. Um, and this is I, I want to share this with you guys because. This is a lesson to you guys um, in business or anything that you do in life. When you involve somebody else or you have somebody else that's by default involved in your situation, things can be a little bit uh, not, things can go not quite how you want them to go, right? Everything, I mean, everything's fine and stuff, but uh, I don't know if you guys hear this music playing in the background in the last couple of videos or whatever. But uh, yeah, I got a neighbor um, that likes to play their music pretty loud. So, and this is not really conducive to what I'm trying to do here. You know what I mean? Make my videos and stuff. And it can get kind of annoying. And sometimes I don't even put out as many videos as I'd like to because I got music playing in the background. I'm like, oh, well, today's not a record day because I can't shoot any videos. And you know, this is not, this is not, uh, my ideal situation so with that being said this space might be coming to an end soon we got to figure something out but um it's not gonna happen like overnight because you know i just got here and you know you know this is, this is not something that you just jump in and jump out of you know there's leases involved and stuff like that so it's like a little bit more technical to uh make moves like this you know what i mean so right now I'm using um, one of my empty 16 by 13 by 16 hoops and I'm just uh, lining up the machine so that I can get ready to load my design and then I can um, start embroidering this design out. I went ahead and put my uh, jacket in, in the uh, frame. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over just a little bit because I think that'll be more of a center. All right, that looks like it's in the center with needle number one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lock my design and I'm gonna go ahead and trace it. And it's gonna show me everywhere the design is going to embroider out. Right here. Looking good, looking good so far. All right. All right, looking good. All right, we're good to go. All right, so we're good to start this embroidery. I just noticed something up top here. Put a little hump in there, so that's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press start. And it's gonna start embroidering this design. It is pretty much over seven, uh, how many stitches? 67,399 stitches, guys. So I'm not gonna play around with this thing. I'm gonna run it at 1,000 stitches per minute and hopefully everything embroiders out okay. All right, I'm just gonna double check again. Um, orange then the border then the yellow okay double check so that you know that you're putting the right threads down and then go ahead and let it start all right i'm gonna go to 13 and start up 1000 stitches per minute this machine should be going for about an hour 
I'm gonna monitor this as it's going just in case anything happens because you know this is an embroidery this is an um, important design and you know it's an expensive jacket so you kind of want to monitor things as they go along as they progress all right so this is going to stop a few times because the design is going to be over an hour long so it's going to stop a few times for me to change the bobbin thread but so far we are running silky smooth let me let you guys just admire the machine for just a little while you know what i mean so you guys can see the quality <laughs> of the stitch that the Rakoma MT1501 is delivering for us today on the back of this expensive, highly expensive varsity jacket. Guys, if you guys want me to do any custom work for you guys, go over to my Facebook page. I have my business phone number that you guys can leave a message for me on inquire about embroidery business embroidery business no questions about helping you with your stuff you can hit me up in the dms on instagram for that and we can arrange something you can go to adub productions at adub and schedule a consultation for that stuff let me know i have no problem with helping you guys with your machine and stuff like that but i'm busy making videos and busy filling orders so it does come at a small fee I can help you out for five minutes if it's a quick fix or you can do a one hour consultation on any of the machines that I use, adubproductions.com, schedule your consultation today or go to my Facebook page and let me help you with your custom embroidery needs. Got my business number on there, so pretty cool, I'm official now guys. So guys, I really um, kind of played myself a little bit. There was a unit, a bigger space available, and uh, I hesitated to get it when I should have gotten it, when I should have got it, and now somebody's rented it out, and now I want the space. I really need to start putting myself in position and positioning myself in my business um, to the point where I just need to buy a building. It's going to take a lot of effort on my part because I'm going to have to like, kind of like try significantly harder to get more business so I can be in a position to buy a building. But, um, I think we can pull it off guys by the end of uh, next year, maybe, you know, we'll see how things go. And, uh, but you know, it's all in God's hands, but we'll see how things go. Machine's looking real good, running real smooth, killing it. Uh, I'll be done this design in no time. And on to the next one. Got a lot to do today, a lot. Still going at 1,000 stitches per minute. Everything looks real good. Very, very happy with the way it looks. I know the customer's gonna love it because I love it. This design is almost done. After it's done this text right here, got one little piece to do right here and one little piece on the other side. And this, then this design will be all done and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But listen, it looks phenomenal. It looks amazing. When they put it on, they're gonna love it. I love doing varsity jackets because people always love them. They last a very, very, very long time. The stitch takes the regular blank varsity jacket up 20 notches, makes it look super, super, super expensive. And nobody's gonna have it, you know, you can customize your jacket any way you want to. I just love doing varsity jackets. Now we're just gonna knock out the last piece of this design and we are finished with it, guys. Let me know how you think this thing looks in the comments down below. I think it looks outstanding. I think it looks immaculate. It definitely makes this jacket look way more expensive and my guy, can wear his stuff in pride and people will be looking at him like yo where did you get that from he did an excellent job on his design you know what I mean so let, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below on how you think this thing came out this last part right here then we're gonna do the front the left chest with a little small design on there and that's gonna be it for this that should take no longer than a uh, 20 20 minutes for the front left chest one 
you know we got a zipper in the front so I gotta watch that I mean a zipper on the inside pocket so I gotta watch that because uh, I did another one of this style jacket before so I know that from experience but you guys see right now we are all done with this design and the machine beeps and we're all finished let's take it out and let's have a look uh, sheesh that things in there tight all right here we go let's have a look so now we're just gonna go ahead and cut the inside cut the access cutaway stabilizer make sure you pull it away from the fabric so you don't accidentally cut the inside of the jacket all right and you kind of want to get a smooth cut so I'm pulling away that's what I mean by a smooth cut all right so cut a little bit and then kind of try to get a smooth cut right here same thing right here you know and and this is going to be permanent it's going to live with the jacket and you want it to live with the jacket because if it doesn't it's going to compromise the stitches the stitches will be compromised eventually when it gets washed or something like that the stitches will start moving around so this stabilizer is not only for embroidering but it also helps to maintain the integrity of the stitches throughout the lifetime of the jacket let me turn it around and then i'm going to do the front check that out guys check that out right there looking good on the back of that varsity jacket right there so one more thing guys before i stop the video i'm going to show you all something real fast this is it's my five by five hoop this is the newest toy invention from mighty hoop right so what are, before this you would have to go like this and then you have to lay this down and guess where you know it, it's kind of complicated you have to lay this down here you have to lay that down here and you have to guess where the stabilizer is and hope it's still on the hoop and then you have to hoop it right but now you can actually hoop the stabilizer and then um, place it all together at the top at the bottom and then you know it just helps out a lot watch this so I'm putting this on here right and then I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna actually this is gonna hold the stabilizer down all right so hold the stabilizer in place while I place it at the bottom of the jacket my stabilizer is kind of small. I got a small piece right here, but it'll still do the same thing. Let me um just get that in place right here for you guys. All right, see how it's like kind of like holding the stabilizer in place. I want to get a little bit tighter because it's a little loose right now. So let me just do it one more time, and it, it does it helps you to have a nice nice size piece of stabilizer. But I don't have a nice size piece of stabilizer right now, so boom, hook that up a little bit right there. There we go, got that fairly tight in there. That's a nice amount. All right, matter of fact, I still got a little bit of play in there. So let me, one more time. All right, there we go. There we go, that's better, that's better. That's better, all right. It's a little bit difficult when you got a small piece. All right, I shouldn't have cut this so small. But I got it. All right, so that's that's good enough for me. All right, so what that does is it holds it in place, and now I can go ahead and put my hoop under here, right? And I don't have to worry about holding the stabilizer in place because this bracket right here is holding the stabilizer in place. Because I'm not using any jig or anything to hold this in place, which I can, but I'm not. All right, so I'm gonna look right here. I'm gonna search for my pocket, make sure it's not underneath there. Try to maintain it nice and straight. And I can hoop it and unhoop it and hoop it again if I like. So I'm just trying to, I'm looking at the, the edge of this right here. And I'm kind of like holding this bracket kind of like straight. Making sure it's straight. And I'm paying attention to where the zipper is. I can feel it right here. And I'm just going to guesstimate. All right. Make it a little bit more straighter. A little bit straighter. Right here. And a little bit of sleeve is this is where the mighty hoop really comes in handy all right so now i drop that on there and this is where the design is going to go and i can see right now it's a little bit ever so slanted this way i'm going to go ahead and take that off that's what i love about this thing it's still hooped up and i'm going to just pull it a little bit the top part a little bit up so it can be a little bit straighter and then boom here we go and that's perfectly straight the way I want it to now I can put this part back in the machine and we can embroider that make sure the zipper is not hooped um, I can see that this area right here I can feel that it's not going to embroider anything on the zipper so we are good to go and now that I have this hooped they say before you start go ahead and take this bracket back off 
All right, so now it's hooped. And if you notice, it's tight on the back. It's tight on the back, so we're good to go. All right, so yeah, let's hoop this up and we'll knock that other part out. And then the jacket will be 100% done. Wouldn't make any sense for me not to show you guys the left chest being embroidered. So here we go, you see the buttons right there. What I did was I draped the jacket over top of the side of the machine right here. And yeah. All right, so you see. All right, here we go for the other part. Still making progress, almost done. It's embroidering that border really, really fast. And the border's kind of small. In digitizing, I think I should have made that border a little bit thicker. So uh, if the customer orders this design again, I think I'm gonna thicken up that border a little bit, but for right now, it still looks good. Still looks really, really good, really, really dis distinct and really, really clean. But it's going so, so fast, it's crazy. Money printer 2.0 right here. All right, it's gonna go across the top right here. And then it's gonna slow down at the top and be done. There we go, slow down. And we are finito. There we go, all done. So there you go guys, very, very satisfied with the way this thing came out. Um, use my Recoma affiliate link down in the description below to inquire. Even if you don't wanna get your machine yet, even if you're not in a position to get your machine yet, go ahead and use the affiliate link and put in an inquiry so that they know that you were kind of like inspired from me showing you guys the functionality and continuously showing you guys how to use a machine. You were inspired to take a look at it um, through, um, and I influenced that. So what that does is when you are ready to purchase your machine, you can just go ahead and call the agent and the initial inquiry would have came from my name. So I'll still get a little small commission for referring you guys um, to get the machine guys. Let me know how you guys think this came out. Greatly, greatly appreciate all you guys for watching, commenting, liking, um, leaving your input down in the, in the comment section telling uh, talking about your expertise and and um sharing your uh tra tricks of the trade with everybody else because we're here learning together and i'm still learning too so i appreciate all you guys yeah i do varsity jackets man i do have to learn how to do the sleeves because the sleeves are very very slim so i can only embroider up to about up to about right here after that the lower part gets a little tricky it's extremely tricky. So um, yeah, we're only going up to about, about halfway down the sleeve I can do. But other than that, nah, it's too tricky to get the lower part. So yeah, can do sleeves too. So holla at me if you guys wanna get a varsity jacket done, you know what I mean? Or if you guys wanna get, right now I'm running a special with 10, I mean 20 t-shirts, left chest with your logo on it, $300. 20 hats with your logo on it, to, uh, $300, same price, all right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby.